If you've been looking for a simple strategy to go from where you are today to financial freedom, then this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about our two properties to financial freedom, where you can create financial freedom in the next 15 years with over $100,000 per year of passive income for life. Now, the two properties to financial freedom strategy is so simple. We simply start in the first stage, which we call accumulation, where we go out there and buy the properties that will make us financially free in the future. Then we move to the second phase, which we call consolidation, where we pay off the debt over the properties using five simple rules. And then we move to the third phase, which is financial freedom and choices in your life. Now, the first phase or the accumulation phase is by far the hardest. It is brutal because this is where we have to save our money we have to invest our money and we have to choose the right assets. Now, the first step is when we go out there and buy the first property. We want a quality home in a quiet street, in a great market with a nice at least 600 square meter block. And then in the backyard, we build a granny flat. Now, once we've completed that first step, we then go save our money again and we buy a second home and build a second granny flat out the back. In terms of adding some numbers, let's say that we buy a high quality home in Brisbane, close to the city, on that nice big piece of land for $550,000 that rents for 500 bucks a week. And then we go build a really high quality granny flat with all of the extra fees and charges associated with things like driveways, carports, landscaping, fences, grassing, etc., to get the site looking really good and tenant ready. And that 200K granny flat rents for another 400 bucks a week. And then on the second house in granny flat, we follow the exact same strategy again another home for 550K, which rents for 500 a week. And for the $200,000 granny flat, we get a further $400 per week in rent. Let's pretend for a moment that you've completed the accumulation phase today. Now we've got one house and one granny flat with a total value of $750,000, which is the 550K for the home and the 200 for the granny flat that is renting for the 900 bucks a week, which is the 500 for the house and the 400 for the granny flat. And then we've got the second one, which is also worth 750K, renting for a further 900 bucks per week. Now, if we look at your total position, once you've completed this first accumulation phase step, we're gonna have $1.5 million worth of property with $1,800 per week, or over $90,000 per year of income today. Now let's fast forward 15 years from the completion of the first stage and pretend that you still own the two houses and the two granny flats. Now that $1.5 million worth of property, if it grows by an average of 4.8% per year compounded over the next 15 years, is gonna be worth 3 million bucks. Now, if I look at the data from Simon Priestley's recent research, Australian property has done more than 8.2% per annum in Australia's capital cities over the last 50 years. So I think I'm being very, very conservative talking about 4.8% over that period. And then if I continue to hold the two houses and two granny flats, that in today's value are giving me 90 grand a year in rent for the next 15 years and the rent increases by an average of 2.5% per annum, I'm gonna have more than $130,000 per year of rent. Imagine yourself 15 years from today having completed these steps and having three million bucks worth of property owned completely debt free and over $130,000 per year coming into your bank account whether you decide to get out of bed or you don't wanna to go to work that day. This simple strategy of the two properties, the financial freedom is the simplest way that if you're looking for cash flow security and wealth and choices in your future, to go from where you are today to where you wanna be longer term. We've helped many, many clients execute this strategy in Brisbane in the last eight years, and it is super, super simple to do if you know where to look and you've got the right partner to guide you through that journey. Now, the second stage of our two properties, the financial freedom strategy is the consolidation phase. And this is effectively where we work towards slowly chipping away or paying off the debt. Now, in Australia, banks absolutely love you paying principal and interest off on your properties, which is one of our parents and a lot of the boomers have used to pay off their investments and homes over a 30 year period of time. Now, the second idea that I use personally is paying a little bit extra off your properties each week. Now, for most of you, paying $100 per week off each of the properties 
It is not going to be a huge deal. It's not going to absolutely break the bank. And it's something that most of us can achieve with the right budget or the right income. Now, if we pay a hundred bucks a week of each of the properties for the next 15 years, we're looking at paying about another 75 grand off each of the properties. Then if we move on to the next one, slowly over time, your position on your property will improve. So let's say that we buy the home for 750K with the granny flat today and we're getting 900 bucks a week in rent. Over a period of time, that debt is gonna come down as we pay off some of the principal and the rent is gonna increase. So imagine it's five years from now and all of a sudden the rent's at 1,100 bucks a week and the debt's seriously sitting at a position of sub 700K. You're gonna be left with a little bit extra each week. So let's say for each of the properties, that's 100 bucks per week. And if we look at 100 bucks a week for the next 15 years on each of the properties, it's another 700, sorry, 75,000 bucks off each of the properties. Now, the next one is one of the benefits of being a property investor in Australia at the moment. And obviously these things can change at any time. So definitely talk to your accountant and your financial advisor or your tax depreciation specialist about this one. But on the three houses and three granny flats that I personally own, I get some tax benefits from the brand new granny flat. So on each of those properties, I get somewhere around about a hundred bucks per week back at tax time per house and granny flat. So again, in this example, over a 15 year period of time, we're gonna be getting about $75,000 worth of tax benefits back on each of the properties. Now, the last concept is not for everybody. You may not wanna go past two houses and two granny flats, but if you wanna pay off the debt faster, then the last idea that I use personally is this concept of partner properties. So let's say you go out there and you buy a third property for 500,000 bucks and you hold it for the next 15 years. And like the previous example, it goes up by that average of 4.8% per annum. Now, all of a sudden your 500K property that you bought it for is worth a million bucks and maybe you've tipped away at the debt and you only owe 400K on it. Now you obviously go out there and sell that property. You'll pay a bunch of money on the way out. You paid some money on the way in and you've got to obviously pay the tax on it. But from that $600,000 difference between the $1 million sale and the 400K debt, you might end up with around about 300K in your hand. Now that 300K again can be put straight back into the two houses and two granny flats to wipe another chunk of debt in that 15 year period of time. Now, based on these five simple ideas that I've just talked through, you're gonna be looking at paying off around about $1 million to $1 million and $50,000 off that $1.5 million of total debt, literally over the next 15 years without breaking too much of a sweat. And that's not even taking into account the cash deposits that you put into the houses and granny flats when you first start out. Now, the third and final step in the two properties to financial freedom idea is when you've got financial freedom, you've got that 130,000 bucks a year coming in 15 years after you've bought the two houses and built the two granny flats, which freedom, and I'm not there yet at the moment. I've been working at this for the last 14 years. And I was just saying to Sam, who's recording this, that I wish I had a bloody followed my own advice. I just didn't know this stuff when I was just getting started. In fact, I'd bought more than eight or nine properties before I even had come up with this concept with Ryan from over there at On Property. Now, freedom is really about choices and financial freedom is all about creating the life of your dreams, to spend the time with the people you care about, like your friends, your family, to travel more, to do work that is meaningful for you or start that business that you've always wanted to start to contribute your time to make the world a better place, to spend time with your kids, to do and live and become the fullest version of yourself in this lifetime. Now, I've been working on and off with a psychologist now for about the last five or six years and we talk about values all the time. Now, I think happiness and creating joy in your life is when you get to live your values on a day-to-day -day basis and do the things that fill your cup, that make your life feel good. And that gap between how you see yourself right now and how you live moment to moment closes up. That is what has brought so much fulfillment to me. This concept of two houses to financial freedom definitely isn't for everybody. And there's obviously positives and negatives to the strategy. There's so many different ideas as a property investor out there online to get from where you are today to where you wanna be longer term. But 
What I love about this concept is the simplicity. Of course, it's going to be scary. Of course, it's going to be tricky. Of course, saving those deposits, finding the right market, trusting your team of advisors, buying the right properties and slowly chipping away at the debt is going to be painful at different points. It's going to be really uncomfortable and stressful at other points. Markets over that 15 year period of time are going to go up and down, but why not start? Why not have a vision of your future where you are financially free, where you can live your values and create a life filled with joy and the experiences that are meaningful for you? And I think the two properties, the financial freedom strategy is one of the simplest ways that you can go from where you are to where you need to be longer term. Now, for those of you seriously looking to achieve financial freedom in your life and who are thinking seriously about buying a property or your first property in the next 12 months, I'd love to offer you a one-on-one -on -one strategy session. All you need to do is jump over to www.pumpedonproperty.com. We can talk about exactly where you are today, what your vision of your future looks like. We can educate you on the market and this strategy in more detail and then like many people before you, you can go and absolutely smash it on your own or become one of the small number of people that we work with each month as buyers agents and we can hold your hand through this journey. We can help you buy the right properties, find the right suburbs, the right market, introduce you to a world-class team of advisors, support you all the way through the building process and get you the best possible outcome in the safest, most strategic and planned way. But either way, we wish you all the best. If you're gonna go out there and smash it on your own, Hope this video has given you some inspiration. Please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share this with someone who's struggling with strategy and is looking to move forward at the moment. I wish you absolutely all the best moving forward and thank you for your time. Woo! That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Getting Have a spin. Cool, yeah. Oh, sweaty. So sweaty. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's so nice, eh? Oh.